Today I'm going to be talking about the fact that your computer is a hoarder. I'm Steve, this is TQA Weekly. And if you've watched television and seen hoarders on TV or even pictures of where they live, you'll know it's a really disgusting, creepy, bad idea. There's no way keeping everything is good for you. Literally, not good for you. You can do much more effective things with the room available to you. The same applies to your operating system, whether it be Windows, Linux, BSD, Unix, Apple, doesn't really matter. All of them hoard files. Many applications like web browsers hoard files. Why? To make the experience faster, or so they say. Now, you might be asking, what is the problem? And for many of you, you may never see a problem whatsoever, so you can go away. But for some of you, you might be noticing some sort of weird instability. After all, depending on the size of your hard drive, you might actually have, for a really long time, 15% of the drive free, or even twice the amount of the RAM available for a virtual memory file. Now, if that is actually possible, it's not gonna cause an issue for your computer. The issue will be created the second that you no longer meet that requirement and don't have 15% of your drive available and don't have at least double what your RAM is available in your computer available to Windows to use as virtual memory. And that's when you start getting some of these weird issues. And some people might just upgrade the drive, which I mean, pushes the problem away without actually figuring out what it is. But you don't really need to buy a new drive in many cases. All you have to do is go into each of your applications and clear the cache. Inside of Windows, Apple, Linux, and everything else, if you click on the actual drive, there are options to clean the drive and they're very easy to access. You don't even really need a tutorial, especially in Windows when you right click and it says clean the drive. So what do you get as a benefit from cleaning the drive? Well, here's the benefits. You get more space available. So you get that 15% or twice the RAM necessary for Windows to function or any operating system to function correctly. You have more space. If you're using a solid state medium, having more space available actually makes them last longer. And on top of everything else, you save money by not having to buy another drive. And isn't that the biggest benefit to you? So what should you do? Stop hoarding files. Just delete them all. After all, while I do understand that a web browser loves to hoard files so you don't constantly re-download everything, sometimes the web developer just wants to get their files across and have these new features available to every single user. I'm one of them. Delete your cache and you might have a much better experience of your next website visit. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share it with those that you think can benefit from this, and yes, I know a few, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekly.com or go to my website, tqwayweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and use a contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games like Borderlands 3 and even Metro in the next few weeks, go to twitch.tv slash zaxis1981. Thank you for watching and goodbye.